Alright, next up we've got a lamp which was made for the outside decorative lantern lamps as shown on the packet there. This one's branded Norma Lux, another name which is new to me although I've had the bulb for ages, it's just that I haven't hooked it down from that shelf. Anyhow, it's a normal Lux 100 watt, um, 240 volt, long life. I know these type of lamps originally were made by a company called Norel, or that was the name that was on the lamp. They weren't made by Norel, that was just the name on them. Not too sure where they were made. Um, they weren't made over here, I don't think. Anyway, that's the actual bulb, but these, I believe, um, their life was quite long because there was a house near here which had one of these lights in the garden and that was on sort of continually and the bulbs got quite blackened. So it's, um, they lasted a long, long time. I actually had one here at one time working and that lasted for ages. But this one's brand new. Uh, there's the box it comes in and shown the picture, which also shows the arrangement of the filament screw base. Now let's have a look at the bulb. These are just short little uh, videos, so it keeps it short and hopefully interesting. You can see the filament there. I will light it up. It's what's called a rough service filament, which means it's drawn out into a long length to the filament, single coil. They don't light up particularly bright, so they run the filament a bit cooler, so that makes them last a long, long time. But as you can see, the supports are all there. To my mind, it's well made. It's got a very large envelope. I put it on my hand. Use my hand to see the, the actual measurement of things. It's quite large and quite quite broad as well. It's nicely made. There's no fusing in the cap. It just goes straight in. So. Uh, they're not, they're not, they haven't used a fuse. But also, the only indication of what it is or is on the base you've got there. Uh, you've just got the wattage and the voltage. So there's no maker on there. I say they could have been made anywhere, but the, I know the name on the box is what we looked at, Norma Lux. Well, yeah, there's the bulb. 100 watts, let's pop it in and see how she behaves. What I've just noticed is the colour of that, um, uh, the, uh, the insulator where the, uh, the vitrite would be I think. This one's actually blue. So that might be a clue to the makers, don't know. Uh, anyhow, let's pop it in and have a little look. And make sure the always make sure the variax off. And then I've got to change the plugs over. So pull the light out, put the variac in, and let's see if it lights up. There she goes. In fact, the filament's very similar to the well, same as what's shown on the box. I haven't lit it. I haven't lit it up at full brightness. That's probably about nearly a hundred volts. That's nearly a hundred volts in it. Put it up a bit, a bit more. And see what it's like. But what I do, I show it on full brightness, which is quite bright actually. That is on full full brightness, which is actually brighter than I thought it would be. So I'll drop it down a bit. Um, 
So there's a lamp for the outside decorative lanterns which you have fixed on the side of the house or like the picture shows a lamp, a lamp standing in the garden. Yeah, once again, thanks for watching. Any comments please make. Um, <clears throat> I'm still trying to get these ones on lighting gallery. I'm not having much luck. I don't know why they don't work. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. So I will upload this, upload, yeah, upload onto YouTube and see if I can get it to work on lighting gallery. Anyhow, once again, many thanks. Any comments please make, please subscribe and do all the things you do on YouTube. And thank you all again. Thank you.